I think as a, as a ceramic artist and educator, uh, I got to know about the International Biennale since the first time, and I was here. And the time, I was really impressed. But uh, that was a hard time for the first one because right after September 11th. But that was the first time I, I really understand that Korean artists, a uh, Korean uh, country is trying to do something really good for ceramic world. And uh, also, I've been going to Ensika in America for almost 12 years. And the, the experience there to let me understand even more about how the government uh, put in so much effort to promote this uh, event. And uh, I was really impressed. And also, through that observation, gave me a better idea when I had the chance to help Taiwanese government to set up the Benali in Taiwan. Uh, I think the previous uh, Korean Benali definitely is a showcase to collect, um, I can say, almost all the best ceramic artists around the world to come to Korea to show their work. And that is the stage for them to build up the conversation. And uh, it, through the publications, the catalogs and videos become very good teaching material for teachers. But after years, between Korean Binali and Japanese Mino, facing a very similar issue because the artists who submit the work to the competition become almost the same. Same numbers, same artists, and happen to the Taiwanese Binali too. So my opinion about the, uh, the current one is very, very positive because any country who want to put in so much effort and budget to do such a big event definitely have to think about what can the event bring to the country. And uh, the current one, I think, is the best time to have the artists not just come to receive the award and just show the work. It's the time to have them stay a little bit longer and build up the conversation with the artists or the young people in Korea. Uh, eventually, the youngster, they can learn from face-to-face -face experience. And uh, I think definitely can see more diversity of the ceramic happen uh, in Korea. Yeah. So this brings me to ask you, um, do you think the Biennale has been very beneficial to ceramic artists and also ceramic education? Uh, that's for sure, that's for sure. But at the same time, I think because each not just for Korean Biennale, for the Taiwanese, for the, the Mino, it's the same issues that uh, we, we, we try to set up the higher standard to show general public about what is contemporary ceramic all about. But at the same time, the work can speak for themselves, but it doesn't work that way, the way I see it. The, the contemporary artists, they, they always try to express their own idea in a personal way, and sometimes it's so far away from general public. So without any uh, contact, or I don't like to say explanation, it's difficult for people to understand. Yeah. So um, I think if we can set up more opportunity for that, that would be much better. And at the same time, uh, when general public can appreciate what's happening now and eventually they can appreciate more about art and the life of the, the, the quality of their life life also can be improved. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Uh, I think at the theme uh, definitely is a is a, is the sentence is the phrase easy for people to understand, and but for ceramic, 
ceramic artists is, is very different than other uh, type of artists. We tend to work together more because it's such labor intensive job and also um, like get involved with the wood firing need a big group of people. So we share and we discuss. And uh, maybe at this moment I cannot really uh, uh, tell you my personal opinion about the theme, but I think it, the positive way is, is easier for people to understand. Ceramic is a part of the life. Uh, definitely, that's for sure. But at the same time, maybe I will, I will think the, the, the ceramic artists who are not necessarily working with such theme or direction, they were wondering how their work can relate to the such thing. And uh, I, I think honestly, uh, artists always work in a very personal way. And some of them um, are not easy to really open their mind or heart to try to express what they are thinking. So uh, I, I can see some artists have a difficult time to uh, connect to that theme. That's a very yeah. interesting point. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, you're an educator as well as mm -hmm. a ceramic artist. Um, the present condition of the ceramic industry, art market, mm -hmm. academic environment, it's not <coughs> so positive. It's struggling a lot, and mm -hmm. you see like departments disappearing, yeah. and so on. And it's uh, you know it's difficult to know that it's yeah. happening both in Korea and internationally. Mm -hmm. um, how do you see ceramics going in the future? Uh, that, that's a big question, and I've been thinking about that issue for a while. Especially, uh, I, I travel really very much you know, between Asia and the West. Um, it's happening in the West more than in Asia and uh, I think mostly influenced by uh, the economy of course and how the, the country handle the educational uh, program or the structure uh, under such competitive uh, economical uh, uh, environment most government is trying to help people to improve their life by economical success but not necessary to build up their cultural uh, 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 environment for them, for them to enjoy and improve their life. So what I'm saying is if people or the government getting too practical, then they don't really consider ceramic is something they like to promote. So and that's why something you mentioned about suffering. But uh, um, after the turn of the century, you know, now uh, the whole focus has switched from the west to the east and of course China has become the, the very important role of that but at the same time uh, the western world finally had the chance to pay more attention to what's happening here so I personally I consider it's a very important time for ceramic in the, in the uh, Asia not just the history but at the same time we have to show how much we care about tradition and how much we value handmade uh, objects and how much we cherish the labor intensive working process art and those things is very different than the, the, the how the western uh, they, they consider coming from the industrial revolution they don't really care that much about the hands what they were trying to do is to build up better technology to take over and make more profit. So if we can do something and to show that is such important thing for the environment we are living in, then eventually I think we are doing something right. Absolutely, absolutely and not just important and it's beyond that is something that we have to keep document what's happening otherwise ceramic is not just like other art you know community they have more uh, global uh, conversation and also have more criticism involved and they can really handle the issue of art 
but ceramic, we tend to work in our personal studio without uh, uh, interaction or communication. So without Binali, I don't think the, the contemporary ceramic will come this far, and especially the three Binali in Asia. Now no one can deny the Binali from Korea, from Japan, from Taiwan, had, you know, is the, the value of the Binali, yeah. But you have an institution in Uh, I think my suggestion probably is, is, is stated because uh, between uh, Yi Chong and Mino and Taipei Inge, they have tried to work together once and uh, just put in the show together and didn't really follow up. So uh, if something happened in China and some organization or government they're interested about the topic, maybe this network can become really important. Of, of the next ceramic. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time and your, your wonderful comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.